The Mi Band series is the pinnacle of affordability, ease of use and convenience. And while the 8th generation is not a massive technological leap, the way it feels, looks and performs does make it more attractive than the Mi Band 7 from an aesthetic point of view. It looks better and feels better to use, but much of the internals and health monitoring are the same as before, which is not a bad thing. The Mi Band 7 saw some great upgrades and I've come to think of the Mi Band 8 as a Mi Band 7S. But at a price of around 40 euros when it hits global markets, this is still great value. The display on the Mi Band 8 is the same size as last year but is noticeably brighter making it much easier to view in direct sunlight during a run or activity. I tried leaving it on full brightness but it was actually way too bright when it got to evening so I left it on auto using the brand new ambient light sensor which worked well and helped conserve battery. Then perhaps my favourite upgrade is the jump to a 60Hz refresh rate, making the screen feel so much smoother than before. Scrolling through menus and navigating the UI is such a better experience than the previous Band 7, which if I went back to now would seem rather slow and sluggish. It still has an OLED panel, meaning blacks look inky and deep, allowing the brighter colours in the UI to pop out and appear rich and vibrant. The pill-shaped body is also slightly wider and a tad thinner this year and has a shiny outer casing. It's subtle, not too flashy, but enough not to look dull and boring. There is also no more silicon unibody band, being replaced by a two-piece strap that clips to either side of the pill. In terms of health monitoring, we have a suite of sensors that deliver accurate and consistent stats across the board, with the heart rate monitor, SpO2 blood oxygen and stress levels all being monitored automatically 24-7. The heartbeat and SpO2 sensors seemed to match near enough perfectly with the results I was getting from my Apple Watch Series 7, though it took a lot longer to get to the result. But for the price, that is easily overlooked. I used the Mi Band 8 throughout the week in all of my workouts and it was very comfortable to use. It is lightweight, non-intrusive and felt comfortable even when I had it tightly fastened to get accurate readings. One big difference I noticed between the Apple Watch and the Mi Band 8 was the calorie count with the Band 8 often reporting a much lower score of calories burnt after workouts compared to the Apple Watch and I'm inclined to actually believe the Band 8 over the Apple Watch which I feel is a little too sensitive when it comes to calorie measurements. One thing however that the Mi Band could not compete with was calculating distance when it came to running without GPS. Though it has a brand new accelerometer that can calculate step count, pace and stride length as well as candence, it did not calculate my run properly, logging a 4k distance instead of what should have been 5k. But you can connect to GPS if you take your phone with you, although for me that just doesn't feel convenient on a long run. There are over 150 workout modes on the Mi Band 8, but most of them are just running the exact same analytics as each other, just under a different name. It will give you your standard readings of heart rate, calories and recovery times. Exact tailored analytics however are available for the most common workouts such as running, cycling and swimming where it will provide data such as the style of swim stroke you're using and the length of the pool you're swimming in. I found it cool that the analytics for all of my workouts were automatically synced with the official Apple Health app on my iPhone and the workouts logged on the iOS fitness app as well as on the official Mi Fitness app which made everything feel very consistent. The Mi Fitness app is crammed with insightful and detailed data for you to pour over and it's also the place where you can easily make adjustments and customizations including the watch faces which I'm really happy to say look much better this year. There are 5 pre-installed faces on the watch and you can even tailor the colour accents which look great. But if you want more options there are so many new faces to download for free on the app and they honestly look so much better this year and the options are endless. 
It's really easy to download and transfer faces onto your watch and there are even options for watch face games and animations. And if you really want to drill down and organize the order of widgets, rearrange functionality and get everything tailored to exactly how you want to use the band, it's all available in the settings. Battery life is rated at 16 days, although this is basically with all the cool stuff turned off. No always on display, no 24-7 health monitoring, no alerts turned on, notifications turned off. It's just not how most people would want to use this band. So I would say with all the goodies turned on and using it daily for workouts for one hour, I'd put it somewhere in the region of four to six days, which for me is perfectly fine. Charging from 0 to 100% takes just one hour and you get this nice charging display. Though one thing I would say is the charging cable that magnetically connects is not the strongest and I accidentally knocked it out of position a few times, so be mindful of that. Now, as I've said in my previous Mi Band reviews, STRESS is something that none of us want. And once again, this year, our good old friend, the stress monitor, is there to help you understand if you're a little tightly wound up in this moment and need to take a deep breath. The Band 8 also supports NFC contactless payments. However, it's important to note that there are two versions available in China, one with NFC and one without. Whether the international version will get NFC support in your region, I don't know. And if you do want to go ahead and buy the Chinese version, then you will only have access to WeChat and Alipay rather than the Western payment systems. And the same goes for app notifications. There is a list in the settings and you can only toggle Chinese approved apps. So no WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. So be warned, you should probably wait for the international version to come out. And and when it does, I'll put a link in the description. Notifications themselves are only for viewing. There's no replying, so don't expect to be able to have a full conversation on the band itself. The band A boasts several other useful features, such as a gentle vibrating alarm to wake you up, local weather forecasts, music controls, and a convenient camera remote for capturing those beautiful moments without reaching for your phone. The Band 8 is also waterproof up to 50 meters, enabling you to wear it while showering or swimming. Now, of course, I haven't covered every aspect of the Band 8, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments, and also click on these videos to watch my reviews of the Mi Band 7 and 7 Pro. And don't forget to drop a like for this video and subscribe to help out my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.